everyone. Welcome everyone. Our final session, the final Quizlet on conference session. We are here day three, last session. Hi, Dana. We have so many of you that have been to, I think nearly every session. I've seen so many familiar names. Um, we have had such a great, amazing three days of this conference. So super informative. That last session was insanely informative. Um, so thankful for all of that information. Just kind of expands our minds. This session is actually what I think is one of the most perfect sessions for everyone here because we have been talking about this now. We're on day three of talking about, you know, what's part of the, what, what do we get as Quiz, a Quizlet teacher account? What's the difference between a free teacher account, the paid teacher account? So that's been on everyone's minds. And I think we're going to get a lot of good information here today in this session. Um, remember, this session is recorded. It is going to be available on the Quizlet YouTube channel once the conference is over, which it almost is with this being our last session. We are super lucky to have Jordan and Liz directly from Quizlet to guide us through. So they have all of the information. And remember, um, make sure to drop your questions for Jordan and Liz into the Q&A tab. Um, but I think they're going to cover so much in their, in, in their session that we probably won't even have too many questions because I think they're going to cover an incredible amount for us. I've just knowing what we are all curious about for sure. So welcome Liz and Jordan. Thank you so much. Take it away and we'll talk soon. Awesome. Thank, thank you, Rory. And, and thank you everyone for, for attending our session today. My name is Jordan and I'm a product support specialist here at Quizlet based in San Francisco. I've been a Quizleter for just over two years now and actually recently used the app to prep for a best man speech. And hi everyone, my name is Liz Winchell, representing Quizlet here in Denver, Colorado. I've been at Quizlet for almost two years and recently I have been using Quizlet to keep up with my Rocky Mountain wildlife. Um, so if we can go to the agenda slide. These are the topics that we're gonna be covering for the next 20 minutes with some times for Q&A at the end. Wanted to call out now that everything Jordan and I are going to be talking about is going to be uh, what the upgraded features are for Quizlet Teacher. Awesome. So let's jump on in. Next slide, please. Great. So as you know, Quizlet helps engage teachers engage students of all levels through curriculum based materials, interactive study methods and games. Um, here are three of the benefits of Quizlet Teacher and how it helps your students, yourself, um, and yourself maximize learning in the classroom. You can share top quality content, track your students' success, and drive high engagement. And let's go to the next slide. Thank you. So we have seven different study modes where students can pick which mode works best for their learning. Quizlet will track their progress and provide instant feedback on where they should focus. From our more traditional methods to games, Quizlet has it covered for you in your classroom. Learning is more fun with interactive study modes and games. Turn your materials into a classroom game that gets the whole class excited and participating. Content that's created by you with advanced creation enhancements, tracking success with class progress, and driving engagement. Um, I'm seeing all these highs. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, let's go to the next slide, please. Wonderful. So for many of you, creating content is a big part of your Quizlet experience. With Quizlet Teacher, you get access to our advanced creation toolkit and enhanced features that give you the ability to create better content and engage, <clears throat> engage your students in more meaningful ways. Um, with the toolkit, make your sets work for your study needs with custom images, audio, highlights, and more. And jumping into the next slide. Great. Uh, take learning to the next level with custom multiple choice questions. Most multiple choice options allow teachers to make questions a little bit more challenging, quizzing students and keeping them on their toes while working to ensure knowledge retention. These questions will be shown in learn and test mode and answer options will be randomly ordered. With adding custom options to challenge your students, you prevent the easy questions. Um, and the customized distractors again will be randomly ordered each time a student is shown a question. Great. Um, and here is an example of a teacher adding custom multiple choice distractors within a set. The ability to control and customize the multiple choice option links to class progress and overall concept advancement. 
So I'll let this go through one more time. It's a little quick, but you can see the teacher adding a couple of the custom distractors. And when a student goes to study, those will be randomly ordered um, when they're testing in test or learn mode. And I'll pass off to Jordan. Awesome. So yeah, within the set creation flow, upgraded teachers also have the ability to create detailed diagrams. These can help demonstrate how parts fit into the whole and its placement in the creation modal makes creating diagrams on Quizlet simple. With convenient annotation tools, locations, and definitions, we make it quick and easy to add new layers of customization to your sets. Some ways we've seen diagrams utilized successfully is with science classes, as well as location identification, perhaps for students uh, studying geography or history. We've also seen it widely used for reading comprehension and activities uh, in that realm. Next slide, please. Awesome. So also visible on that previous screenshot showing diagram creation, another great tool in the creation arsenal is rich text and the ways that can really elevate study sessions. Here you can help your students focus on what is important and give them the confidence they are dialed in on what they need to know. Rich text makes it easier to absorb key points and makes dense information easier to absorb. It also pairs well with language learning sets and calling attention to specific facets of a word or phrase. Next slide, please. So I started with the advantages of what applying rich text to your sets can do for the study experience, and rightfully so. But as you can see in this nice GIF, it certainly adds some delight to the set creation process as well. Something you know any of you power creators out there can appreciate. It's also a great element of customization that can truly add a dimension to your sets. And for those of you who maybe rich text is completely new, Similar to some of our other premium features, it is conveniently located directly in the creation modal you are already familiar working with. Next slide, please. Awesome. Jumping into custom images and audio. You can add your own images and recorded audio to support these different methods of learning for your students. A fun idea that we've heard from some teachers is you can get creative and import hand-drawn illustrations. With custom audio, you can assist beginners with slower audio or clearer pronunciation. If Quizlet doesn't yet support the language you're teaching, another little workaround is you can allow, you can record yourself so your students can listen to you as they study. Also jumping, highlighting here, uh, uploading your own animated GIFs for eye-catching and informative movement. You've noticed that Jordan and I have dropped a couple of our own throughout the presentation. This is also great for verbal hints, sounds, example sentences, language learning, and more. Jumping to the next slide, thank you. Um, another awesome feature is creating sets from a photo. So building content on the go. This is a really great Quizlet app feature. You can scan in documents to create sets fast and access Quizlet offline within the mobile app. With this, you can still add any of the other elements like rich text or custom audio and a new set is created and ready to be shared. Next slide. Awesome. So moving on from the advanced creation toolkit in conjunction with the return to the classroom and back to school, new this school year is the launch of expert explanations on Quizlet. With this new feature, we will be delivering trustworthy and highly vetted material to students in the form of step-by-step -step solutions that are designed to help students get unstuck and provide a deeper understanding of class content. Next slide, please. Building on our existing search functionality, teachers and students can look for textbooks and questions to find the content they can pair with their class curriculum. Here we see a student looking for physics related content and encountering the various suggested matches for textbooks and questions while they input their query. New content will continue to be added. So if you don't see any matches yet, there's a chance the next time you check things out, there'll be something on there that wasn't before. Content for high school level and younger is completely free, while college level and above are a part of the Quizlet Plus and teacher subscriptions. Next slide, please. Along the entire design and development process, the team has really prioritized incorporating input from teachers and really creating a cohesive experience. 
as we see in, in this GIF highlighting a student navigating to an exercise, students are able to control the pace they move through the problems and can grapple with the reasons behind why an answer is correct and the steps it takes to reach that answer. With textbook explanations, students have an ally that helps break things down for them and is able to put things in digestible nuggets. While trying to strike the right balance, we aim to prevent students from feeling overwhelmed while also providing the right amounts of friction that shows them how to work their way through an entire problem. Within these instructions and solutions, our subject matter experts define concepts wherever possible and drill deeper into the nuts and bolts of things. As my colleague Anna covered in a session earlier today, across Quizlet, we are really leaning into learning science principles, and this is one area we are applying those findings to really try to enhance the way that we can help students maximize their study efforts. Next slide, please. I mentioned the way explanations can be an ally and resource for your students. And these quotes from fellow teachers showcase some of the ways this can have a positive impact with their teaching. Leah shared, I like that it breaks things down into chunks and steps. This is helpful for many students and especially students with an IEP or 504 who benefit from processes being broken down into chunks. I also like what, what Rory had to say about explanations too. I love that students will have this built-in reference point, which can alleviate student stress and put less on the teacher to re-explain. With both of these quotes, we can see the benefit of having another avenue for students that empowers them to continue progressing with their studies and get the help where and when they need it. Next slide, please. So lastly, on explanations across the ecosystem, there are thousands of textbooks and dozens, thousands of uh, textbooks uh, covering dozens of subjects. So as you prepare for the upcoming school year, really encourage y'all to check, check this feature out and see how it can be incorporated into your curriculum. Next slide, please. Awesome. So covering class progress, you can, uh, with an upgraded Quizlet teacher account, you can create an unlimited number of classes to connect your students with your content. With these Quizlet classes, you'll also have access to be able to see how your students are doing in the Quizlet study modes and exactly when they studied. And Jose, there's actually a little video here. I think you should be able to, there we go. So here you can see it as a teacher, I can see my students are using learn mode and write mode, but maybe not spell so much and not match. Um, you are also able to customize the timeline of which you are viewing when your students have studied. Um, next slide, please. Uh, with this, you can sort by the past year, week, and day to get the most up-to-date info. Uh, you can see a detailed view of which students have started or completed their sections with access to aggregate data on students' most to least missed terms. Um, this will help pinpoint exactly which concepts need more review or which have been mastered. And again, you can review the student progress over time. It's a great tool for, for further encouragement and motivation around building stronger study habits, um, as well as used to measure participation. You can use it to focus future study efforts on most missed terms and uh, understand what your students are um, retaining. Let's go to the next slide. Thank you. Um, so yeah, keep your finger on the pulse of your class with class progress. We had a teacher say that it is totally awesome. This gives me real data to back up my gut instincts on what things my students can handle now and what things they still need to practice. The image that you're seeing on this screen is um, in the class progress section, but it's showing mastery. So we're seeing terms that are sometimes missed or never missed, giving you an idea of where to maybe spend more time with your students on terms or where they're really seeming to get it. Um, for each term or concept, you're going to see aggregate data showing how often students get the term right on average and uh, what they may need more work on. Next slide, please. Awesome. So shifting to our last section of the presentation, classroom engagement and focus tools. It's a quick one, but an important one nonetheless. Uh, next slide, please. And I should have known that I wasn't gonna get through an entire presentation without mentioning Quizlet Live, of course. 
Um, so yeah, I wanted to call attention to the few ways that the teacher upgrade makes the game that your students already love and know even better. An upgraded teacher subscription unlocks the ability to customize teams, as well as a huge time saver in being able to change sets on the fly without having to, go, to back out of the game modal. Another cool feature available to upgraded accounts is inclusion of any custom audio uh, that may be included in your sets. Um, and yeah, really just ensuring that your students are getting the most out of those Quizlet Live activities. Next slide, please. Thank you. So jumping into ad removal, you can help your students focus by getting rid of ads in classes that you create. It works for students that you add to your class and for the sets that you add to that class. A uh, friendly little call out is this is only available as an upgraded Quizlet teacher and the students need to be in your class and um, they will then not be able to see the ads. So with this, you can get in the study zone anytime, anywhere with offline studying content creation with no ads. If we could go to the next slide. Um, awesome. So as a, uh, as a new Quizlet uh, user, you can start a, three, a free 30 day trial. You'll go to quizlet.com and sign up if you haven't already. And then you can upgrade to unlock the teacher superpowers that Jordan and I covered in today's presentation. We have a little screenshot here that shows you a brief overview of what your upgraded account will unlock for you uh, for the 30 day free trial. Yeah, so go be sure to go ahead, sign up and enjoy the uh, superpowers that we covered today. Next slide, please. Awesome. Well, Liz and Jordan, thank you so much for all of that information. We have a lot of really good questions in the Q&A, so we're going to jump into that right now. Um, so first question, Anne is asking, does Quizlet have an image library available to teachers? You want to take it? Go ahead, Liz. Um, so, oh, I lost the question. Um, we do have a free image gallery that uh, you can use um, as an upgraded or standard user. Um, and then again, uh, as we mentioned, you can upload your own images as an upgraded teacher. So there is a free uh, image library. Excellent. Another question is, could the students use the rich text features to add to their own highlighting? The so students will need to be upgraded in order to um, add their own rich text features, but they will be able to see yours in the uh, if you are an upgraded Quizlet teacher, they will be able to see the rich text that you've created within your sets. Marty asks, please explain rich text. I know nothing about it. What does it do? I'll let Jordan take that. Cool. So it's a, a feature within the traditional create edit modal. So uh, if you're going to create a set um, as you traditionally would, if, if you already are familiar with Quizlet, there, as an upgraded uh, user, you'll see the ability to uh, bold uh, your, your flashcards or to underline them. Uh, italicize, I believe, is an option. We have some colors that you're able to, to highlight uh, the text with. Um, so again, sort of a, a way to, to call out uh, key points within, within a term or definition and sort of, um, you know, add another dimension to, to the standard term and definition that students see um, on those flashcards. Excellent. Um, uh, Eileen asks, all that data, can it be seen for a student individually or just as a group as a whole? The data in class progress, I think. Probably. Uh, yeah, uh, I can answer that in, in how I, I believe the, the question was meant to be asked. So the, that information is uh, for the teacher only. So students won't be able to see how the other students are performing, um, but the teacher can look at class progress overall and see how their students are performing as individuals and then pop out with each other. I hope that answered your question. <laughs> yes, I think so. Nicole asked, um, is there an option to have a co-teacher added to my class? There is not at this time, but I, I believe that is a feature request that we have heard from. So who knows, maybe in the future, but yeah, no plans to add that um, as of yet. Interesting, I never thought of that. That's actually a, a really good, good idea so that two teachers can monitor that progress. Um, oh, Christopher asked, can you show again where 
uh, one accesses the explanations feature. Miss that as I was taking notes. Cool, totally. Um, so maybe I'm trying to think if I should share my screen or if you, if you go to a logged in home and you're signed into an upgraded teacher account, you will see explanations under the Your Library tab. I believe there's also a banner at the top of Logged In Home that calls attention to uh, um, verified solutions. Um, sorry for a little hard to do this. Uh, oh, thank you, Jose. I appreciate that. Perfect. Yep, so here you can kind of see where that's located on Logged In Home. Awesome, thank you for, for demoing that, Jose. Awesome. Um, history textbooks, are they available on Quizlet? So I'm not sure about specific textbooks um, and specific subjects. However, I know as the one, one of the slides called out that you know, there's a wide array of content on there. Um, I'm not sure about the specifics, but um, yeah, it, maybe if, if you would like to, to contact our support team, we can uh, you know, try to work with you to, to see if there is something that matches on there, or at least note that there's interest in, in getting more of that type of content available. Many people are asking after the free trial, how much does it cost to upgrade to the teacher level? In, uh, I'll answer in USD um, with no promotion. If you're buying a single subscription, it's $47.88 billed annually. So there's no monthly billing option at this time. Um, if you're not interested in keeping the upgraded, uh, uh, up into upgrading and converting into a subscription, just be sure to cancel within your trial before, I would say 48 hours before you're supposed to convert. Um, we do offer group discounts though, um, and I can share a link here. If you're buying for two or more people, it's 20% and I, uh, 20 off, 25 or more people, I believe it's 25% off, but I'll grab the link for that and I can drop it here if that would be helpful. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Amanda asked a great question. She said, I teach in higher education and find it helpful to ask students to create questions. If I create a class, would I be able to split students into groups and then ask them to add their own questions into the class and then merge into one learning activity. That that is a great idea. I think there's a couple different things there that you know in in the future we could look at exploring. Uh, as of now, we don't have that sort of functionality in place. But yeah, as we continue to think about you know ways for teachers to engage with students and have that you know two way street of collaboration, that that's definitely something that you know we should we should consider. Yeah, and I think totally like a teacher could ask students to, in groups, create Quizlet study sets. The teacher could then put that study set onto their own account and then merge them together and make one giant um, study set off of that, I think, pretty, probably pretty easily. Um, Cassandra asked, can you show uh, the URL again to get the 30-day trial? Yes. If you go to quizlet.com slash upgrade, excuse me, um, and you're logged into your account, um, that will apply the 30-day uh, free trial to your account um, through that route. And I will drop that into the comments as well right now for you. Awesome. Um, can students access the explanations on the free account? Yeah, there's some nuances there, sorry for, for the, the pause. Um, so high, high school level content and younger is, is free. However, um, in order to access any of the college level material um, or above, uh, users will need to have either the plus or um, teacher subscription. And, and for those uh, users trying, there, there are, um, Students are able to engage with explanations. I believe it's maybe two or three uh, for those college level um, uh, textbooks and solutions before they may be say prompted to, to upgrade to a paid account. Okay, excellent. 
Um, I just recopied the link in, it's just quizlet.com backslash upgrade everyone um, so that you can go ahead and do the trial. Uh, a few years ago, I did the trial myself. I think at that time I only had like a two week window or two or three week window and I was using it up for, at, for every little moment. So I think 30 is completely awesome. Uh, gives our teachers plenty of time. I'll say one thing, the trial time for teacher is 30 days. If you're talking to your students about it, um, or for friends who are not a teacher who want to try it, their trial time is different. So um, as a teacher, when you're signing up, be sure that you select your uh, that you are a teacher and you're granted the 30 day upgrade. If you see seven days, uh, you can feel free to write into us and we'll make sure that you're getting the right upgrade type. Um, but yes, 30 days for teachers, anything else, um, make sure that you're identifying as a teacher within Quizlet. Awesome. Well, you guys gave us a uh, ton of information. It is definitely um, a big benefit for everyone to jump on board and do the trial, especially if you're thinking about it and you want to compare, you know, what you've been doing with the free account and having the upgraded account. I've been enjoying the, the upgraded account for about three years now, and I would, wouldn't go back. It's exactly what I, what I need to have. Um, for me for sure. So I wanna thank you, Liz and Jordan. This was a super information, uh, great session. Remember this is recorded, so you're gonna be able to rewatch this on the Quizlet YouTube channel. And if you have any additional questions, do not hesitate to contact Quizlet um, for anything. And I think we're good. This is our last session, everyone. We are gonna go ahead and jump into our final wrap up session. I've got that 100 dollar Amazon gift card to give away. So make sure you're joining me with that. Thank you, Liz. Thank you for coming, everyone, and for asking the questions. And this was a lot of fun for me and Jordan. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone.